Unless you've seen a lipidologist, you've probably never heard about the potentially life-saving blood test for lipoprotein little a, and you only need to get this blood test once in your life. So I encourage all of my patients, if it's a financial option, to pay the $51 for it because the results have huge ramifications for how we try and lower their heart disease risks. So evidence linking lipoprotein little a to heart attacks and strokes has been steadily building over the years. A recent study just published last month gives us updated numbers that are hard to ignore. The study drew on a large database to identify almost 300,000 people who were diagnosed with heart disease. So researchers examined follow-up data over about five years to see who'd had a heart attack or stroke and how those numbers related to lipoprotein little a. So compared to those with low levels of lipoprotein little a, defined as less than 15 nanomoles per liter, those with levels between 15 and 79 had a 4% greater risk, while levels between 80 to 179, it was a 15% greater increased risk. And that risk jumped to 29% higher for those with levels between 180 to 299 and a sobering 45% greater risk above 300. And it's not just for those who had already been diagnosed with heart disease who are at risk. So the lifetime risk for a heart attack or stroke for the overall population follows the same pattern and we can see that based on the data from the UK Biobank. So higher levels of lipoprotein little a translate to a much higher lifetime risk. And we might be tempted to say, well, I'm a healthy weight, I eat right, I don't smoke and my blood pressure is normal. So I probably have nothing to worry about. That would be a massive mistake. So unlike most of the other risk factors for heart disease, our lipoprotein little a levels are almost exclusively driven by our genetics, not lifestyle factors. So the only real way that we know what our levels are going to be is through a simple blood test.